All right, so I'm going to be covering the Millennia fight because it's one of the harder fights right now. And I'm going to basically do an info dump of everything I've noticed about the fight so far out of a few hundred attempts and whatnot. Maybe even more than that. So starting off the fight, you'll notice Millennia is kind of weird in that she idles a lot. But thankfully, she's super easy to stagger. So you can actually abuse that if you kind of realize that she is idling. Um... As you can see, my damage is kind of shit, but I'm playing very aggressive. And even with a great sword or something like that, you can still play this like kind of play style as long as you learn to recognize her moves. So we're going to go back a little bit. I'm going to talk about some of the things that are going on. So again, what I was talking about with her idling here, she's idling and I'm playing kind of close to her. And the spacing for this fight is about where I'm at right now. You want to stay close, but you also want to keep a little bit of spacing, especially when you get to around the 70%, uh, 65% HP range. Um, because that's when the flurry attack actually becomes a possible thing. So anyways, here I know she's idling and because I have short swords and I'm power stancing, this is a little bit different because uh, my attack speed is going to be a lot greater or a lot faster rather. So here I'm able to get the attacks in. Um, what you really should be doing is doing one attack. Uh, if you're using something like a short sword, you should be doing one attack and then waiting to see if she staggers to it or not, or if she jumps to the side here, she jumped to the side. I should not have done two, but I did. And again, I'm going to be rolling a lot of her attacks backwards. Um, most of her attacks, just rolling backwards once and sprinting a little bit will get you out of range for all of them. Uh, except for the katana attack. The katana attack I deal with in a particular way. And it's because there is a visual cue. I'm not I'm not 100% certain that this is right. But I'm going to tell it because if it is, it's it's really useful. But there's a, there's a way to tell if the katana, the quick little three swipes and then the big slash... Uh, we'll have a follow-up. So I think she's about to do the attack. No, it's the kick. This attack. The way to know if there's going to be a follow-up after that slash. Um, again, I could be wrong, but test it yourselves. Right here, if the blade sparks, you'll notice it'll spark at two times. Uh, one is right before she starts it, and one is after the three slashes before the fourth. So it sparks um, coming up after this kick. It sparks. It sparked again, so I know there's going to be a follow-up. And the follow-up can either be what you just saw there, or it could be like her jumping away, or it could be a little slash back jump. Um, the roll timing for the grab, actually, this is kind of important, is once her hand comes back down to her side. So you'll see her hand comes down to her side. You can roll. And again, I'm keeping this kind of middle ground spacing. There I got a little greedy. I shouldn't have gone for two attacks, only one. I'm going to play it safe and heal. Again, just rolling backwards. There. So this is what I'm talking about. There wasn't a spark. You'll notice this time with the katana, like the four attack, there's no spark when she does it. And this means after I... And I'm rolling into her because this is the only way I found 100% consistently roll the combo without taking damage is rolling into to the right. But since it didn't spark, that means there's not going to be... Uh, any any follow-up after that or at least not immediate follow-ups it's safe to attack at least with short swords you may have to play with it with like great swords and stuff but here i know i'm safe to attack i'm gonna roll backwards twice here here it's safe to attack there's no follow-up she may jump back like that but she will not attack and the flurry okay everyone's favorite so the flurry attack um there's two ways you can dodge it the most optimal way is if you're keeping this middle ground spacing you can do what i'm about to do and i'm going to run away uh, if my spacing isn't perfect, when I'm running away, I may dodge at the very end. But ideally, you can just strafe this opening flurry by sprinting straight away. Or straight away from her, I should clarify. Uh, and then after that first little one goes off, the little flurry, I'll roll into her dodging the flurry. So I'll, I'll run away, the flurry will dissipate, and when the next flurry starts, I'll roll into her. And then I will immediately roll forward again and backwards twice. Uh, you don't have to time them, you just kind of spam it. So you'll see that here. I space it. I roll into her, roll forwards, roll backwards, roll backwards. You don't have to do a second roll backwards. I didn't even do it there. Um, here's just a little strafe. You could just roll it twice. I just, I'm just i playing very, very aggressive um, because I want to keep that middle, middle ground with her um, to punish these idols. And you really want to play this distance, but you can still get a little aggressive. Um, and then if you're ever too close during the flurry attack, um, you can basically do the same combo. But for the second little burst of flurries, um, where if you were doing the one you just saw me do, where I was really far away and I rolled into her, make sure you roll in into the right. 
Um, it just works for some reason. Uh, you still have to worry about the first little burst, but um, just kind of spam rolling forward and then rolling forward and right uh, for the second flurry, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but hopefully that kind of clarifies it. Um, other than that, I, I'm just going to let the fight play out and note some things. So here, space it. I roll it at the end just in case. Grab. No spark. She's not going to follow it up. I can attack. And again, that may not be 100% right, but that's just from what I've noticed. Other than that, though, I think that's I think that's most of the phase one. I'm keeping this middle ground spacing, especially after the 65%. I'm punishing these idols way less because it's not really as worthwhile. Punishing the kick is really nice as well, um, if you can learn to recognize it. And again, you'll have to play with some of these punishes if you're using something like your great sword or if you're using something like uh, a great hammer or anything like that. Uh, so here, this is actually important to note. The reason she hit me here. After her kick, her poise is really high for a second. Or, or yeah, it's very hard to break her poise. So I attacked really early here, which is actually a bad thing to do because if you attack early enough, she won't stagger from this. So you want to kind of delay your hit there. Uh, that's more prominent if you're using something like a short sword. Or something that attacks fast, I should clarify. That was kind of roll spammy. But again, it's sparking, so I know there's going to be some kind of follow-up, whether it be a jump back or one of her other attacks like this. And that's uh, the Millennia fight. Like I said, I'm not going to really show Phase 2 because I'm too lazy to actually record or upload that big of a file size and it is generally the same fight um i think the only thing to note about the phase two fight is uh just expect her combos to have follow-ups expect any of the phase one combos you saw to have a jump follow-up that will do a little aoe of scarlet rot in front of her um be ready for it and as long as you do that she staggers super easy like i can show you the beginning of the fight like, she staggers just ridiculously easy. Um, like, here, I, you can see I'm punishing like crazy. And, yeah. So, that's the Millennia fight, like I said. So, um, yeah. I think that should be covered just about everything. I think I even died in this fight, so it's even better I don't show it. Uh, other than that, though, uh, yeah. Hopefully, there's some useful information. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments, I guess. I don't know.